There's 125 names on the death list. It's almost everybody in the county. I think you would be hard pressed to find a film more maligned than 1980's Heaven's Gate. This is a film that, when it was released, was universally despised. Roger Ebert called it one of the ugliest films he's ever seen. One reviewer referred to it as an unqualified disaster, and another reviewer actually questioned whether director Michael Cimino had sold his soul to the devil to make Deer Hunter, and Heaven's Gate was the devil coming to collect. This is a film that, 40 years later, is finally being reassessed. And while it has an incredibly complicated and disturbing production history, it is no less wondrous today. The film would come in at 400% of its budget and over a year late. This was a film that actually pretty much ended the dominance of its studio, United Artists. Why the hell did you come here? Well, why do we do anything, Billy? The cast of Heaven's Gate is in many ways unimaginable. You have Chris Christopherson, Isabel Huppert in her first English-speaking role, Jeff Bridges. You also have the classic actor Joseph Cotton, who was in Citizen Kane. And if that were not enough, you also have a very young Mickey Rourke. I think the star of Heaven's Gate, though, is truly the camera work of cinematographer Vilmos Zygmunt. For Roger Ebert to call this film ugly, I really don't understand it, because looking at Vilmos Zygmunt's cinematography is like being in the eye of a hurricane, while Heaven's Gate just kind of unravels around you. There are sequences of this film that are utterly stunning. In particular, I think of all the scenes of waltzes, where the camera is steady and you're just watching characters twirl around you. Watching the roller skating sequences with the fiddlers, which kind of go on for a very long time, you really get a sense that Vilmos is a fluid cinematographer. He's right there in the action. And I would say if you are anyone who suffers from motion sickness, you might want to not watch the sequence because you might end up like Jeff Bridges at the very end. Watching Heaven's Gate today, we are at an advantage because we're pretty far removed from the initial backlash that Michael Cimino really received when the film was released in 1980. Watching Heaven's Gate, I can't help but be mesmerized, and I really think it's an essential film to understanding 1980s filmmaking. To explore more film history, watch A Year in Film on Hollywood Suite.